वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व एग्जाम्पल नंबर सेवन यूजिंग राउत हर्विट्स क्राइटेरिया डिटरमाइन द रिलेशन बिटवीन के एंड टी सो डेट द यूनिटी फीडबैक कंट्रोल सिस्टम हुज ओपन लूप ट्रांसफर फंक्शन इज गिवन बिलो इज स्टेबल सो देर आर थ्री की पॉइंट्स विच वी हैव टू नोटिस विच आर गिवन इन दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव गिवन द ओपन लूप ट्रांसफर फंक्शन सो द ओपन लूप ट्रांसफर फंक्शन ओपन लूप ट्रांसफर फंक्शन इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय जी ऑफ एस विच इज गिवन इन टू आर क्वेश्चन एंड इट इज ऑल्सो सेंग डेट This control system is having unity feedback. So, here the value of h of s, that is feedback, is equals to one since it is having unity feedback. So h of s is equals to one only. Further, it is also saying that the open loop transfer function given below makes the control system stable. So, by the help of stability, it is saying that All the roots lies in the left hand side of the S plane. That's why the system is stable. All the roots lies in the this area of S plane. That's why the system is stable. This is the basic understanding of the question. What it is want to say? Let's solve this question. First of all, we will discuss about the characteristic equation, on the basis of which we will form the Routh array. and check that the relation between k of k and t so the characteristic equation is given by one plus g of s into h of s is equals to Zero. This is the basic definition or the basic expression of the characteristic equation. So, in the question, we are giving the h g of s, and it is also saying that unity feedback. So, h of s is equals to one. On putting the values in the characteristic equation, we will get our original characteristic equation. So, put the values. One plus here, whole term will be replaced by g of s. So, k over S, S, S plus ten plus T bracket close. It is G of S and H of S is equal to one. So, on taking the LCM of this equation is equal to zero. On taking the LCM of this equation, we will get the final equation as S cube plus ten S square plus T S plus K equals to zero. This is our final characteristic equation on the basis of which we will form the Routh array. So here the odd coefficient of S are this term and this term. So the odd coefficient are here. The coefficient of S cube is one, and the coefficient of S is t only. The even coefficient are. The coefficient of s square is ten, and the coefficient of s to the power zero is k. Then we will form the Routh array. So the highest power is s cube. Then s square. Then s to the power one, and s to the power zero. Since the highest power is s cube, so we will write the odd powers first, then after even power. So the odd power coefficient are one and three, and the even power coefficient are ten and k. Then we will cross multiply it. So the after cross multiplication, ten will be multiplied with t minus k will be multiplied with one. 
the whole term will be divided by 10 so we will get 10 t minus k over 10 10 t minus k over 10 here after that no other column is there for the further multiplication so we will simply write 0 here after this this 10 t minus k over 10 will be multiplied with this k so we will get 10 t minus k over 10 into k minus the 0 will be multiplied with 10 we will get 0 only after that whole term will be divided by this expression 10 t minus k over 10 so on cutting this we, the remaining part is k only so the result is k and we will simply write 0 here so the formation of route array is now completed and we will check for the system to be stable which condition should be satisfied so it is given that the system is stable and the first value of the first column is positive so for this system to behave like a stable system all the values of the first column should be positive here 1 is positive 10 is positive but for the system to behave as a stable system this 10 t minus k over 10 and this k these two values should also behave like a positive number so we can say that 10 t minus k over 10 should be positive or greater than 0 so we can say that on multiplying the, this 10 with the 0 we can also say that 10 t minus k should be greater than 0 so we can say that 10 t should be greater than k by this equation so this is one conclusion from this k we can also say that k should be greater than 0 so this is the another conclusion these are the two conclusions onto which which are necessary conditions for this system to behave like a stable system and in this question we have to determine the relation between k and t so here equation 1 is the perfect relation between k and t tan t is greater than k is the perfect relation between t and k thank you